Hello, hi, my name is Tia. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time joining me. Well, today I am going to be doing a what's in my nursing bag, the bag that I take to work. Um, I am a licensed practical nurse here in Philadelphia, PA. Um, and I wanna show you what's in my bag, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. All right, so I have a book bag that I bought off, I purchased off of Amazon um, and the reason why I bought it is because it was pink so let me show you my bag it's busting open but I, I broke one of the things here putting too much stuff in it and I'm gonna show you everything this is like a, a mega bag so I've been working um, as a nurse for about two years and recently you know with the COVID um, it's been very difficult. Some days you go to work, you don't know when you're coming home. Um, you don't know if you're gonna get relief. You don't know if you're gonna have gloves. You don't know if you're gonna have um, a CNA, you know, to help you. So I put everything in this bag. So what I have been doing was I actually put my bag, my book bag in the trash bag and I carry, if I have to carry the bag in, to the facility, I use this first, right? So in this pocket right here, I keep my, just some gloves. So I went online, um, Amazon, and I purchased some extra gloves because there was a shortage at um, my facility once and it was very scary. <laughs> so I just purchased some just in case um, what else do I have in this pocket? I don't have anything else in this pocket. I keep this hand sanitizer, but I keep it on my bag. So, I keep, what's this, Speed Stick Room Spray for her. And I really use this as air freshener for like, uh, like, like not inside, like inside my car. Sometimes, you know how you eat lunch in your car, it's a little funky. So, I just use this. Um, I have a flashlight. And I got this from the dollar store. It's so cool. I, uh, let me show you how. Oh, here it is. So, you open it like this. You press it. And when you let it go, the light comes on. I just always keep this with me. Um, there was a time when I was at work and the lights went off. So, I keep this. I have my medical you know bandage scissors that i keep with me oh i'm sorry and then i have a blood pressure machine and i use this well i don't use this now because of the covid like you shouldn't use this and i use this when i worked agency you would be surprised how many nursing homes and rehabs that i went to and there was no blood pressure machine i'm like Where's the dynamite? And they're like, we don't have one. You have to bring your own, which I don't think is really safe. But I mean, you have to do what you got to do. And so that's why I have this. Or if I did like home care, I would take this. So um, I have my earphones. I have this little pocket right here. So this pocket, I usually keep my lip gloss, my mascara, chapstick. And then inside of the pocket, I keep my pens. So that's what I'm going to show you. I took it out. I don't know why. So I have a bunch of masks. So this is my, you know how they, you have to put your N95 mask in a paper bag to reuse it. And then I have this mask that somebody made me. And then I have these masks. They, they actually look used, but they're not used. I actually just balled them up like this and put them in my bag. My brother actually found these masks for me online or at a hardware store, and he gave them to me. So that was a blessing just in case I needed them. Um, I have a lot of alcohol pads. So I wipe all my stuff down. You can go on Amazon and get a thousand of these for like $20. I don't know if it's still available now since everything that's going on with the COVID, but I keep that in my bag. I have another blood pressure machine. Um, 
I have a thermometer, the um, thermometer, uh, what's those, the tip covers. So if I go to a facility, like it was really hard out here. <laughs> um, you would go, I'm, so I know y'all probably like, why does she have all this stuff? Okay, that's why. Um, all right, so let me show you my clipboard. Uh, so this is my clipboard that I use. I have not been using it lately. But I did use this clipboard through nursing school and I did use it when I first started. And it basically has a guide on the back of it. And uh, you put your papers here. What I like about this clipboard is that it's dirty right now. I don't know why it looks like this, but you usually just wipe it. You just take your alcohol pad, wipe it down. And that's why I like this one. I, have, I haven't used it probably in like a year. I just have it in my bag just in case I need it. And then, oh, let me throw that away. And then you just let it air dry. That's all you do. So that's that. And then I have, I have another day here. Okay. I have another blood pressure. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my other blood pressure. But like I said, I don't really use this stuff anymore. I just bought it just in case I needed it. This is actually, I got this from work. This is like a little stethoscope, the little like $10 ones that come in the boxes. And I just use this instead of using my Litman because it's just, uh, I just use it. And, or I use the isolation, the yellow ones. So I use these. This is my Lipman set the scoop that I have, and uh, I had this one. I paid fifty dollars for this one, and it's engraved with my name on it. And I do suggest that you get one of these if you're in nursing school. It's called a lightweight Lipman set the scoop, and I would say it should be still fifty dollars. I don't think the price went up. But this is good because number one, you're a beginner. Number two, if someone takes this, it's not that big of a loss because my other set the scope was almost $200. So it's better for me to just use this one, especially like in nursing school and when you first start working, especially if you're working agency, you do not want anybody to walk off with your $200 set the scope. So, buy it put your name on it but for starters buy this lightweight fifty dollar one i have a little thing right here with my name on it and buy it put your name on it carry it everywhere you go okay so then i have a little pet a little pouch and it's just like all my feminine products just in case i need something um this is my my ink pens and markers and I keep this in my bag so what I do is when I first started being when I first became a nurse and I started working I would have like I bought this called Dr. Grip pen and I got it it was so great it's, it writes so well it was ten dollars or twelve dollars I don't know I got it on Amazon it was pink so you know it was like <sighs> and I bought it right and I was like oh I love this pen the pen went missing like one shift on so what I do now is I actually just go to the dollar store. You shouldn't use blue. This I use that for my personal notes. Like if I have a piece of paper on my clipboard, I would put it on my clipboard and I would write in blue. Okay, so you need like a blue, a red, a red pen. Um, you need a blue, a red. You need a Sharpie marker, right? Um, and then you need your basic black pens for when you have to write notes or something. But the reason why I would say use blue and red because like red is like critical and then like blue could be like little reminders that you write for yourself and the blue stands out more from the black. Um, the reason why I stopped using so many different color markers is because pencils because they were so expensive. Like you pay $18 for, 
or 10 or 12 markers i was just like mm, i'm not doing that anymore so that's why i go to the dollar store i get the 10 pack i put it in here and um and that's what i use y'all i yeah okay and also you see in here i have my uh what's this you know pen light and this is my little pouch it's so dirty everything in here is so dirty that's why i've been i haven't um worked in the last few months i would say i haven't worked in like i would say a few months maybe two months i got into a car accident and so when i got into a car accident um it really messed up my body like i'm i'm waiting for physical therapy to open back up it just opened so i can schedule an appointment um it was i was having a hard time walking they put me on muscle relaxers they put me on um me on muscle relaxer they put me on gabapan y'all know that kind of stuff so i haven't been working and i've been holding this bag like i didn't clean it out um because i wanted to make a what's in my bag video and so if you see some of the stuff you're like it look crusty that's why it's just been sitting for two months it's so and i haven't cleaned it out but uh okay so let me show you I keep a little stapler with me because um, when you're doing a missions, um, when you're doing a missions, when you're doing like an assessment, when you're sending an individual out to the hospital, or when you just want to organize, like when you have a free moment and you be sitting at the and you're sitting at the nurse's station, and you want to like um, organize, like always keep a little stapler because if you like again, like I said, if you work agency. A lot of places you will go, they will not have, especially if you work the weekend at a facility, you'll be like, oh my goodness, they don't have anything. So I keep a little stapler. Another thing is I keep my lipstick. That's what I told you. I keep. I usually keep that stuff in this pouch right here. So I keep my, my lipstick. This is um, NYX Butter Lipstick. And this is called Thunderstorm. This is bomb on me. Y'all hear me? This is bomb. Okay. If somebody see me this, they will marry me. <laughs> so this is bomb. And then I have, um, this is what I was using when I first got, sorry, my nails are chipped. This is what I was using when I first um, got injured, like had a, my car accident. Um, I would just roll it on like my bag. So I keep this with me. I keep it in my bag. Um, and this is my Fenty. It's almost done, y'all, but this stuff, this is bomb, too. Real bomb. This is it. It's bomb. It's nude. It just makes you glow. You know what I mean? Like, so, it's hard now because you have to wear your mask, so, you, um, okay. So, this is, a, I keep mascara, just a little mascara. Um, and then this is another lipstick. Now, let me tell you, this is wet and wild. This is bomb, too. Okay. So I keep this all in my bag. So if my bag was correct, it will all be in this little pocket right here. Like this. So that's where I keep all that stuff. Okay, I keep this uh, it's like what you call it, a ladle and I keep it but i stopped wearing this like i said a lot of stuff you have to like you you as a nurse you have to just be adaptable so i stopped wearing this but like say i go to a facility and um it's my first time there they give me a temporary badge i will wear this okay um and i would use you know use this and then when i was done i will take it off okay then like i said i have my chapstick i have another little light i think oh, yeah you can see it there it is I have another little light just to keep with me, just in case my pen light. I'm really into like keeping multiples of everything, which I don't know if this is bad. These are just some, some business cards I had. And then another thing I like to do when I'm on break, I just like to have my flash cards, read my scriptures. As you know, some shifts is, I mean, all shifts, only God can help me. I don't know what be going on. And then I like to, uh, just keep my little flashcards about certain insulins. You'll be surprised, especially like when you start working as a in, as an agency nurse. There are so many different types of medication, insulin, IVs, 
all kinds of stuff that you've never seen before and it, it's like it's so so when i see or if i encounter something that i know or if i encounter something i don't if i encounter something that i know that i forgot i write it down if i encounter something that i didn't know that i'm just learning i write it down like that so this is my aunt's business card i keep it with me she's a realtor in atlanta i love her um i don't know why i have a flush but it's just here i don't know what it's doing here and then i have more uh alcohol swabs oh this is bomb so this is moisture therapy intensive healing and repair and this is from avon this is so good for your skin for your hands it's like bomb and then i have i have a card i just have a lot of stuff i just i got a highlighter okay this is bomb this is actually hand sanitizer and this a pineapple i love pineapples y'all know i love pineapples you follow me so i got that let me see so i have another lotion i don't like to use this one at work because it's um it has a fragrance but it's called blush by victoria's secret but what i usually do is if i see these at um if I see these at Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works and I see that they're having this out, I just stock up on them and I keep them in my bag. So if someone's like, oh, do you have some lotion? Like, I just need some lotion. Or if you encounter C. diff or kind of all kinds of smells and it's not the patient's fault. It's not your fault, but it's just, it, it happens, right? So what I do is I'll take a little bit of this and I'll put it right under my nose, just a little bit, just under my nose. So it just freshens. You know so i do that um so i also have i have the same another little lotion just in case the same reason i have another pen i have a lot of oh so this is the other piece of the blood pressure machine that's the other piece of that one y'all i keep everything in here so <laughs> i have a post socks um i have some mouthwash now before y'all say oh she stole no 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 i got this when i was in the hospital for myself they gave me this so i kept it and i just use it um sometimes if i'm working a 12 hour shift sometimes i'm only scheduled to work eight hours i end up working 20 hours so i just freshen up in the bathroom um what else i have another stapler another one I just have a bunch of junk y'all okay so i have little scissors another little pair of scissors and you're gonna see like when you become a nurse i don't know if it's just me but i just like to be prepared so i have another one of these that i can wear you like to be prepared because and then this is another pair of bandage scissors because you're gonna find it's gonna be like so many people don't have anything they be like do you have any bandage scissors yes or or you'll see let me tell you so you'll see like nurses that are just burnt out like so burnt out like they they don't even have anything they're just like i'm tired i don't have no food i don't have any water i'm just you know what i mean so that's why i like to be prepared this is just like spray hand sanitizer you spray your hands you know? um this is my little first aid kit that i have i keep this with me i got it from the dollar store if you want to get one dollar store and then i have so this is where i don't know i think i don't know how my alcohol pads get all over the place but this is where they started right it all started in here and i don't know what happened i think i dropped my bag because my bag is just such a mess and i'm trying to figure out why is it such a mess but i don't know and i'm trying to fix it i'll fix it as i go so then, um, all right, I put this from the dollar store. So this is what's called derm, dermal massive, derm massive dry skin. It's just for your hands. It's like hand lotion, just in case you need it. You have to keep lotion, especially like before, if your hands were like dry and cracking, now you hear your hands are like peeling, like bleeding dry because you just have to wash them so many times you wash them wash and wash them sanitize them sanitize them and you have to and that's the only way you don't get sick and that's the only way you don't get your patient sick um 
okay so basically this is called this is mary Kay. this is like primer so you know in the morning like on that third shift oh my goodness that third 12 hour shift i don't know they used to give me this schedule it would be friday saturday sunday and monday y'all by sunday i wake up i'd be so busted so what i would do is i keep all this stuff in my bag and I would just, when I got, after I wash my face, I do my face at home, like wash my face, brush my teeth, do all that stuff. But then when I got to work, I clocked in. Um, maybe I did my morning vitals or even before I got my morning vitals, I would go in the bathroom, I would put my primer on, put my mascara on, put my lip gloss on, you know, just to make yourself look um, a little better. You look better, you feel better. Drink lots of water. So that's that i have another pad in here i have a posty and then i have let me see what else i have i just have all these so i have all these uh i'm telling y'all i i don't know when i was in nursing school i before i started nursing school i was like i'm gonna need alcohol pads because i'm gonna need alcohol pads to wipe down my stethoscope and wipe down all my stuff and i got a monopoly thing i got some band-aids and now it's like years later i still have all these um oh i like if you go to planet fitness i love these pens okay every time i go work out i take one of these pens because these are so good when you're writing notes like whatever little notes you might have to write and it's like it's purple you put like a big star you like okay patience bp was such and such uh administered um uh, myodrin waiting you know like whatever or um whatever you did hydralazine or like or um patient has cellulitis uh re or if you have wounds so like say if you use this pen to say these are all my wounds that i need to do and then these are all my breathing treatments i need to do which we're not doing right now these are all my breathing treatments i need to do or my red it would be like my low blood pressure my high blood pressure dialysis like you know what i mean like you get a little system going you know so it's like uh, you put it all together so that's that then i have i don't know where i get this from this is petroleum so let me see i think that's pretty oh i had this pen light did it come on it might be broken oh it might need a new battery so i got this from jella scrubs she's here in philadelphia too and she has the same matching set of scoops and I just love this. This is so pretty. So I keep it. I used to use that one before everything happened. I used that one when I worked home care because children just love shiny things. So, you know, like you'd be able to just charm them. See, don't you want, like, and now you'll learn, but this is another spray. And this is a car charger thing. I don't even have a car no more, so. And these, y'all, these are just all these alcohol pads. So, I have a little toothpaste in here. I have peppermint. It's just crazy. I don't know what. Oh, I have Tums. I always keep my Tums with me. Because sometimes y'all order from the wrong place and be like, oh, that didn't go right. I think that's pretty much all I have, y'all. Yep. So I, I did have a water bottle, like a canister that I got. Um, My old coworker, she got me this one that says um, safety first, drink with a nurse. I had that one. And then I had another one that I got off of Amazon. So that's pretty much it. That's what's in my bag. It was a mess. It was a mess. Um, Yeah, that's the real rule. But that's how it is. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you watch it again. <laughs> like share and subscribe like share and subscribe thank you